Yes, as you already know, it's December, which means Christmas is around the corner. For me, it's the most beautiful time of the year, and because I love it so much, I wanted to make sure that my videos are in tone with this, that's why you see this background change. More than that, since my channel is now all about Christmas, today's video has to match this theme. The concept for this artwork was to have Santa Claus go over the world, bringing each child their long-awaited gifts. These are the main images that will be used for creating the composition, to which I added different overlays to blend the entire scene. But without wasting any more time, let's go into Photoshop. I started with the background using different sky images. I had to adjust the colors to the first one and I simply used the color balance adjustment layer to create a night scene. The second sky image will be used as a portal to which I will add more effects later. I needed a window frame so I found this winter one and messed the outside landscape, keeping only the sides. I created a wall with a concrete texture and lowered the exposure, very simple actually. I created on my own a windowsill with this wood texture, made it bigger and distorted it. To create a 3D effect, I duplicated the layer and changed the perspective, then lowered the exposure. Also, there should be shadows, so with a brush I painted over the exposure layer. I used Aurora overlays to create the path for Santa Claus because he will be riding its reindeers into the portal on a magical bridge. I kept adding them with different colors to change the overall aspect and mask out the parts that I didn't want to have. Here is all about blending, adding different colors at on linear dodge add or screen and paint it over the sky, same for the glowing effect. Also the same technique for highlights, this edit has a lot of repetitive steps so there is not much to explain.
The kid will be standing in the middle of the image watching Sata leaving his place. I added a bunch of shadows to him and moved to adding a little Christmas tree on top of the windowsill. I also lowered the exposure and painted back the light, then added an orange tone to it. On the left side I placed an actual Christmas tree since I felt that it was missing something. Now for the final touch on the sky, I used the same image as earlier and used polar coordinates on it to create this roundish effect and it was perfect for my concept. 